Here come the bike shots, so... We should start doing that. Having kids do the feeding. Go ahead. Here on Monday. Monday, mo Monday morning at 9.30. Monday breakfast. Sure you don't need more backup guys? These guys are pretty violent. Feeding food. <laughs> Is this what you signed up for? <laughs> You guys, you want to at least oh, let the kids guys, finish eating first? Children? You want to let kids eat first? Alright, let's go. 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 let us that it now feels the need to spend its limited resources on arresting peaceful people. You guys are pretty pathetic. I'm the lonely guy in opposition. I'm the lonely guy in opposition. You're getting there pretty well here, but um, tell me about the sign and what you're doing out here today. Actually, I'm just, I'm just here today to support uh, local law enforcement. I think that they have a hard job and we should, uh, we should have respect for what they do. And uh, my whole thing is, especially Orlando Police Department has demonstrated that you can't count on them to enforce the law. And I would say, you know, if it was against the law for women to vote, I think they would be there to arrest women who tried to vote. And if it was still against the law for African Americans to use the same restroom facilities as Caucasian Americans, Orlando Police Department would be right there to arrest them, man, because they will enforce the law no matter what it is. So we have to support them for that. Because in America, the last thing you need is you know, liberty, justice, conscience getting in the way of the law. Right. We don't want that. So we need to have officers who will just blindly obey and follow anything that they're told because this country was founded on bootlegging. So we need to keep that in mind when we do this. Understood. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so and that's why you have That's why I'm saying I love OPD. I know they're catching a lot of flack for this, but we do have to support them. You know, I'm a tax paying American. I'm like, I want to see my tax dollars put to use. I like to see people getting arrested. I like to see the cops with all the cool toys, like all the little Batman utility belts. It's important that that's used, you know, that's important that we see that. So I think they're doing a great job, and as long as they continue to arrest people for feeding the homeless, I'll support them because they're doing their job. Perfect. <laughs> You're funny. You're, I, I'm almost done with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you check these pictures out. Okay. These are pictures um, that the group um, Anonymous, some of the Anonymous members okay. have uh, been posting her on online. This one right here is of the Vendetta mask okay. right outside the uh, mayor of Orlando's home. Oh, he is in College Park. Yes, he does okay. live in College Park. Right. He is right now by me. About. Buddy Dial. Yes. Yeah. This here, uh, this picture is of headless, this picture here is of headless <laughs> OPD officers yeah. uh, with the vendetta mask down here. Now these are, um, the police are considering these threats on o sure. uh, OPD officers and on the mayor. Um, what do you think about? Uh, well, we have to realize we do live in a post 9 11 world, so any opinion that differs from the status quo from the government should be perceived as a threat. I mean, the difference between them and us, we're enemy combatants. We are all now, we have to we have to submit to the fact that we are now all guilty until proven innocent. That's the new America. And so people realize that, you know, we're not going to have what we're looking for. We're not going to have the American dream. But I think that's absolutely a threat. You know, Anonymous is a terrorist organization. And I agree with Buddy Dyer, our wonderful mayor, who I'd like to see become president of the United States one day. I agree with him that these people who want to feed the homeless are, in fact, uh, Al-Qaeda sympathizers. They are food terrorists. And I think the police are doing a great job of showing restraint. I, I think they should be able to use lethal force against anybody who wants to feed the homeless because it is a vicious, vicious crime. Do you think these uh, pictures that were posted online uh, went too far? Well, I feel like if the police find out who is responsible for this, they should be executed without a trial because that's what we have to do for national security to keep us safe. Yeah. What's your name, man? I'd rather remain anonymous. Because of anonymous. <laughs> You know, in, in the spirit of anonymity and autonomy, I will remain anonymous, but I, I would like to say that I will continue to support these oppressive measures because sometimes you do have to have tyranny to have freedom. Got you. Okay. Um, are you a part of any local group or? Uh, I'm not. I was thinking about joining. I'm trying to get a job with the American Totalitarian Institute. I'm trying to do an internship with them right now. So if that pans out, that would be a career I would really like to get into. If not, maybe just law enforcement. Kind of right now, you are an anonymous young man. Just a, yeah, just a student, small business owner. Yeah. <laughs>
But I think tyranny is where it's at. Gotcha. we got to have more police, more guns. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I am.